Hello and welcome. This is Jay Dolakki and you're watching It's Tomorrow News. UK and Ireland battered by strong winds and torrential rain. Storm Emily batters France. High wind and heavy rains from an extremely strong weather system that moved in from the Atlantic have battered much of the United Kingdom and Ireland. This storm that got some of its energy from the remnants of Hurricane Pablo brought destructive winds to much of southwestern England on Saturday morning. The port city of Plymouth, located on the southwestern coast of England, received a peak gust of 133 km per hour while just down the coast of the winds at Royal Naval Air Station at Kaldors hit 132 km per hour. The winds and rain also caused problems for travelers at London Heathrow Airport on Saturday. 265 flights were delayed. Thousands of people in parts of Conwell and North Devon were also left without electricity after tree fell on power lines. Meanwhile, train services were discontinued between Nukwe and Par when the ground below the tracks became unstable due to the heavy rain. The UK Meteorological Office had issued yellow warnings for wind and rain through Saturday evening for parts of Wales and England. On Sunday, the storm's fury began pounding France and even stronger winds. In Cape Ferret, just off the coast of Bordeaux, a wind gust topped out at 162 km per hour, equivalent to Category 2 hurricane. The strong wind will continue moving east into the Mediterranean Sea and then across part of Italy early on Monday morning. Heavy rain will also accompany these winds on Monday with accumulation well over 100 mm. The risk of localized flash flooding will be a high concern between Rome and Naples. The flood threat will then shift across the Adriatic Sea into Montenegro on Tuesday. Storm Emily brought freak winds, downpours and monster waves to southern France over the weekend. The woman, aged 71, who died in her own backyard was the only reported fatality. The storm dropped trees on roads and railway tracks and ripped loose leaves electric wires, leaving tens of thousands of people without power for hours on end, authorities said. About 60 rescuers worked through the night in search of the woman who was reportedly missing after a landslide buried her back garden as she was sweeping during a brief respite of heavy rains over nights, said emergency service spokesman. 16 residents of the same neighborhood where other landslides have since occurred have been evacuated as a precaution. Weather service Meteo France said winds as strong as 163 km per hour were recorded in the southwest coastal department of Guinardé and Landes Sunday and 121 km per hour in Bordeaux. Six people sustained minor injuries as Emily plummeted at the Atlantic coast. Several trains were cancelled and several delayed for hours. About 50 trees came down on the lines, said rail operator SNCF. Electricity supplier Energy said power cuts were affecting 55,000 of homes, mostly in the western Novel Aquintine region. A number of departments were placed on orange alert throughout the day because of the extreme weather. Winds in some places had exceeded 163 km per hour. 1,700 employees were working to restore power for some 55,000 homes. The number of households affected earlier stood at 1,40,000. They were mainly in the regions of Nouvelle, Aquitaine, Pays de la Loire, Augurine and Aquitaine. Heavy rainfall and winds were also seen in the southeast of France. Railway operator SNCF said several trains were cancelled or delayed because of the extreme weather while two motorways were temporarily closed. The mayor of the town said it was the worst flooding seen in the years and that several people had been evacuated for their safety. The worst of the storm has now passed but many regions are still on high alert for the aftermath. The storm is progressing inward and is slowly losing steam, the meteorological agency said on Sunday. 30 drivers got stuck in their vehicles and had to be rescued, according to the town's mayor. In nearby Marinen, strong rainfall caused two rivers to overflow and spill into the city. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Jit Dolakya. For more weather updates like this, please subscribe to our channel.